Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Zanky Zero Last Begins. Is... In the last video, we uh, we? God, what did we do? Uh, I just know a lot of people die by allergies, and uh, we did some exploration, and now, wow, why can't I figure out which button goes takes me here? Pause. It's the start button. <laughs> so yeah, now we're gonna figure out um. This might be it, so I'm just gonna have. Uh, do I want everyone to nap? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, they still have their their bonuses, but like, eh. I mean, they still get a, like a. There's a possibility that there'll be a scene, and if I mean, I highly doubt anything will be. Now let's just go. Good night. Ringo, Ringo, isn't this exciting? It's like we're having a slumber party. Huh? <laughs> I guess you're right. It is like a slumber party. I'm not sure. But Sachika has never had one before. What kind of things did you talk about at a slumber party? It's true. Usually we talk about things like who liked who. <laughs> this really takes me back. Well then. Let's talk about that, Rinko. Who do you like most on Garage Island? What? W what? I never thought about it. This is a bit sudden. Yeah! Sachika likes everyone! What? Ah, uh, yeah, but I think that's a bit different. It's the kind of thing you can only talk about with other girls, like having a crush on a certain boy. Wow! Oh, I want to hear about that. Which boy did you have a crush on? Hmm. Hmm. Yes, then I have a story. Hey! hey! It's really not that interesting, though. And it was such a long time ago. No problem. No, I really want to know. Then. Really? Then? I think it was a bit before the first summer break in middle school. There was a boy named Makoto who sat next to me. And I just thought about him as a friend. But one day after class, he called me out onto the roof of the school. He was acting dif differently than usual. So I was wondering what was going on. Then he suddenly confessed his feelings for me. Wow! Mm -hmm. What happened next? Um... Well... Uh... Sorry. Never mind. I can't do this. Huh? What? Rinko, where are we going? How am I supposed to sleep with that cliffhanger? Ah, <laughs> uh, that was adorable. No, I didn't. Are you alright? Hey, Arjo. Are you alright? Wake up. Hmm? <sighs> hmm. Are you awake now? You seem to be having a nightmare. It, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know. I guess I did. Sorry, did I wake you? Hold on. It's okay. I was having trouble sleeping anyway. Besides, my love isn't as narrow that I could fall asleep with you suffering next to me. So, what was the dream about? I can't remember. I just know it was, a, it was pretty horrible. Hmm. Is this your first time waking up to a nightmare like this? No. No, it's not every day, but it does happen from time to time. Hmm. It may be a good idea to be to get treatment for it. Huh? Treatment? No. It's nothing drastic. Just some co counseling to identify the source of the nightmares or some cognitive behavioral therapy. The nightmare is caused by trauma. We will try changing how you think about that ordeal. That's basically the gist of it. It's not my field of expertise, but I could give it to give it a try on you. No. Oh no, it's really not that big a deal. I see. Oh, you say so. But if you continue having nightmares, it's an option to consider. Yeah. I don't mind at all. So no need to be modest. Thanks. Thank you. Well. Anyway, you can sleep without worries for today. I'll be right here by your side. We could even cuddle if you'd like. Well, that might give me a different kind of nightmare. <laughs> That's impossible. Here, try touching my pectorals. <laughs> They're surprisingly soft and squishy. Yeah. No, thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was 
That was a little cute too. Alrighty. Alright, let's check the statuses of those people. He's quirky, but seems like a good guy too. Uh, nothing changed with you, nothing changed with you. I wish you accept my love more. It's nice being liked by a younger girl. She's gonna teach me all about flowers. Alright, let's feed these folks. Alright, this could be it. We're heading into a battle against the boss. Double check something. Let's check the map. Actually, I should probably wait until to see if there's enemies down here because there was an enemy in here originally. So. The door is up. Okay. So the only thing from this one's probably all the switches, but I can just check those out to kill myself at some point. Um. I think the only thing here is for that we one switch, which is, where was it located? Right there, I see it. This one. There's a switch there. Where are Look we? Down. Let's check the map. Which could be it. Which that probably is it. Here we have these, this area. These two things. And then all the locations here and here. So that's probably all it is for this one. For Which this one, there's that. How did I get back up? Oh yeah, I gotta go through there. Could I do that? Because I think the reason why I couldn't go in here the first time is because those doors were locked. This one's completed. And this one has this other hat. Seriously, that's spent the whole day. Yeesh. Oh my god! Ready? Waiting for my sh- Jesus. Oh shit. No more messing around! 
Waiting for my chance! Ready? <laughs> Victor got the spoils. They won't get away. No more messing around! Ready? Waiting for my chance! No more messing around! That's fun. Jesus. Whoa, what's this? Oh boy, here we go. Hey kids, it's time for Sheen Extend TV. Oh boy, they finally found the Extend Machine. So this is the rumored Unit 1, Doc? <laughs> Sorry, Show, but this is actually Unit 3. It's the same type of Extend Machine as Unit 2 on Garage Island and the other rooms. No, it's not. Did I just pee the gun? I think the phrase is, jump the gun. It's not gonna do us any good if it's not Unit 1. Looks like it's broken anyway. But this is still a valuable resource show. Is it the outbreak of Luciora must have started from Unit 3, leading to the Day of Reckoning. What's a Luciora again? Is that like Lucy with an aura? Luciora, okay, that's it. Who's Lucy? And why would she have an aura? Lucy Aura is the nano machines Dr. Terashima made. They're inside everyone's bodies as we speak. Oh my god. Lucy Aura was originally created to transform human corpses into Cleone. To turn corpses into Cleone? Bullets and humans result in mountains of wasted lead and bodies. Retrieving bodies isn't cheap. The idea was to turn corpses into weapons, resolving both issues at once. Dead enemies and allies, injected with nanomachines, turn into portable, retrievable weapons. That was the purpose of the clinical organic nerve equipment. Or Cleone, for short. Alrighty then. They're like some sort of super demon! Even though the research was incomplete, he wanted to find a way to turn Cleone back into humans. Luciora was developed through that research, leading us to human cloning technology. Boy, I'm amazed. But why did such an incredible thing go out of control? Someone modified the Luciora inside Unit 3 without me knowing. Mm. Luciora went crazy. It turned corpses into Cleone, but also affected the living, too. Feeding on humans and self-replicating over and over. They multiply by eating humans? So they're just like living creatures. Well, you're half right. Luciora is something between a creature and a machine. Ah, oh, kind of like how you're somewhere between a pig and a dirty mop. But I'm 100% sheep and wool. To make things worse, the program began infecting other machines through the network. There was an outbreak from there, and before we realized, spread throughout the entire world. Mani was a biosafety level 4 facility, but I guess it didn't really help in this case, huh? <laughs> huh? Wait a minute! Luciora exists inside me and everyone else, right? Are we gonna be okay? Don't worry. 
the rampant program is no longer active. Besides, the X-Key was originally created to control Luciora and Cleone. Cool. Hmm. What's wrong? You sound troubled, but your face looks pretty relaxed. I was just thinking. The world ended up like this because the doctor created Luciora, right? Isn't he doing this whole new humanity restoration mission thing to make amends for all that? It's not my fault, folks, so you shouldn't even think about punishing me. There's no need to keep moving forward. I'm just looking out for your well-being. Okay? Yeah? Okay? Well, remember, kids. You get the idea. Thank you. That was probably the first time I was ever happy for that. Watch out! Look out! They won't get away! Waiting for my chance! No more messing around! Ready? Central Tower? Get away! Waiting for my now. No more messing Ready? around. Waiting for my chance. They won't get away. Yeah. Yeah. It's time. Good. Ooh, huh. that stinks. Whoa! Waiting for my chance. Ready? No more messing around. They won't get away. They won't get away. No more messing the yeah. Can't go there. Ready? Waiting for my chance. They will yeah. Victor go the spoils. Found it. Let's recover some energy. Unfortunately, I don't have any soap. What's this? <laughs> Found it. We need this, right? There's something here. Let's take this. Strategy guide for reckless sky. Look out! Found it.
Alright. Let's put that away and then save just in case some bad shit goes down. Okay. Oh, this is it. What's this? 2018. August 13. And the end is the beginning. There's something here. Oh. It's a toilet. Okay, so found it. All right, so I need to use my notebook here. So. Two thousand and eighteen oh eight three. I don't think I ever found zero though. So then I go to the no, that's not why I wanted. Do zero here. Let me check out the numbers. One, two, three, four. Oh fuck! I never found out what zero was. But maybe if I if I go by that, maybe zero is the colored in of the the other shape. So. write down what I need. So I need two, which is colored in square. I don't know what zero is. I need one, which is colored in triangle. Eight, which is open square. Uh, zero again, still don't know. And then on the one, then the three is the colored in diamond. Alrighty. So zero is my guess is the colored upside down triangle. Alright, so for this, I need the colored in square. Well, well. Colored in square. Then colored in upside down triangle. There. Then colored in triangle. Let's activate this. Then open square. There. They won't get away. Waiting for my chance. Ready? Waiting for my chance. No more messing around. They won't get away. No more messing around. Right. Other enemies? I think I just did, okay, yeah, I think I just did the square here. So I need the zero. 
Here we go. Um, then I need a square again. Let's try activating it. Then the colored in triangle. Here we go. Then the colored in diamond. Let's try activating it. Let's see what's in here first. Is this it? If I do it in order, would it do it for me? So this would be here we zero. go. That's this one. might be it. Let's try Two. activating it. This might be Three. it. Let's try activating it. Four. Which way is north? I forgot what five was. Okay, five is the triangle up. And six is the diamond. Here we go. This might be it. Here we go. This might be it. Let's try activating it. What's this? So, that wasn't it. Time to check the map! Is there anything else in my notes? Is this it? That could probably Watch help. Out. So I want to know how to open up this Let's door. Let's check the map! Five, six. So, cut square triangle diamond? Yeah, let's do it. This thing, right? Does this thing move? This thing, right? I wonder what this is. Huh. The destination is. Maybe I could. Go all the way here. Try to get those doors to be closed. I could. That's a ways up. Let's just go on. already keep this up and everyone will finish at the same time but I want to leap ahead at the last second you're that guy who says let's all run together and betrays his friends at the last second huh 
Very well. I'll explain for the sake of the garage kids, too. The goal of the new humanity restoration mission is to create a new human race with a new world. Oh, a really? new world for new humanity. Or in other words, extended humanity. Extended humanity? I'm not that surprised. I mean, it's flat out in the name. This is Mirai's first time hearing this, too. You see, you may not have realized this about the creatures roaming around Mani. But they're most likely Mani staff members who didn't fully turn into Cleone on the Day of Reckoning. What? But I thought creatures were defective human clones. Technically, creatures are the transitional state between human and Cleone. Okay. But as humanity began turning into Cleone, for some reason, the Mani staff members stopped transforming before they fully changed. More research is required to find out exactly, but I'm certain these creatures were once Mani staff. Lovely. They've continued surviving, as if affected by an anti-aging effect, and stopped aging completely. Resilient and unaging. Wouldn't you think they'd be considered the human race's true evolution? D don't tell me. Extended humanity is referring to creatures? No, creatures are definitely defects. However... Go. Question time. What? Why did Yosuke Kurosaki go around killing Sachika and other innocent people? Because a hashtag ugly sheep rode the train rocking hashtag exposed butt fashion? You're the jerk who posted that to social media? Question two. Why is it Haruto and the others are still suffering from the traumas of their past? Because Mamaru? Because hashtag exposed butt fashion got 65,535 likes? God damn, you just shut gosh. the fuck up. So many people saw it, and that's just the likes. I've been thinking about the answer to these two questions for a long time. Is it because of Housewife? The answer is because there's a bug in humanity. For both of them? You just tried to say Housewives, didn't you? The reason aberrant murderers are born, and the reason people are killed by these murderers, Betrayal by superiors, stepsisters, brothers, fathers, mothers, teachers. None of it is anyone's fault. It's not the fault of the country, poverty, religion, or society. Are you sure about that? It's all because there's a bug built into the algorithm of the human mind. My time spent as an ex-key has only solidified my belief. This bug inside every mind is something that must be fixed, so humanity can be perfected. Oh! I know! New humans with strong, unaging bodies like creatures and a flawless mind. So that's what extended humanity is. And we need Unit 1 to make it all come true. You're half right. Ever kill Mirai, show? You got cut in half! But you get the idea, right? This is the goal of the new humanity restoration mission. Okay, you guys, I have an announcement. This will be the last episode of Sheen Extend TV. Oh no. What? But we just started! 
I'll never see Show and Mirai again. What a disaster! Let's not. I'm getting bored of this. They're almost near the end, too. <laughs> I guess we have no choice if the doctor says so. Let's all cross that finish line together. Remember, kids! Illuminate! A new future! Not for humanity! Hey! Bye-bye and bye-bye! Lovely! Are we gonna make comments about this? We're not, huh? Okay. I want to see that other room. Well, not so much that other room, but like more so the um. Oh, what would be the right word for it? Um. Like maybe there's a hint I can see through the window here of how to open it. Could just look it up too. I want to go to that other room on... The destination is... I want to go there. North is up. So I'd love to get rid of stinky Kachika. Afraid of. Where haven't we gone yet? Here we go. <laughs> no more they won't get away. <laughs> they won't get away. Other enemies? We have another 
another day advance? Nope. But maybe I'll advance when I fall. And if it doesn't, I will just... Can't go there. Come on. Damn. 